Hi and welcome to the brand new episode of Home Assistant running on Synology in Docker. Today we are going to install Deluge. We'll start in 10 seconds. Deluge is lightweight cross-platform BitTorrent client and we are going to install it in a Docker as we already are installing everything inside the Docker. Goal for today is to get the Deluge up and running and also to make an integration with the Home Assistant. In the next Home Assistant running on Synology inside Docker, we will be installing Radar, which will be integrated both with Deluge and also with the Home Assistant. So let's start it for today. First thing what you have to do is we have to log in to our terminal. Let's select the server and let's type our login credentials. Now that we've logged in, before we start to download Docker, let's make sure we have following folder structure. Of course, you can customize it depending on your setup, but I will be continuing with my previous structure. So first of all, we want to change to our volume one folder. And let's list here what we have. In volume one, we have uh, Docker. And that is the place where our dockers are contained. Hasio, this is used for uh, Hasio testing. And we previously created media and Plex folder. If you look closely, you can see that we have user and group defined as 1000. Write this down or remember it because we will be using it later on. Next thing what I want to do is check my own ID. This is the uh, username ID and the group ID of the current logged in user. So let's type ID. And it says that my ID is uh, 1026 and I am member of the group uh, 100. What you usually want to do is you want to match those uh, informations for the user ID and for the group ID. And that means that those two numbers should match each other. In my setup, it's a bit different because I'm tinkering a lot with that. So I will probably be using those numbers here. Okay. And how we will be installing it? For the downloads, we will be putting downloads inside our media folder. And for the Docker image and configuration file, we will be using our Docker folder. If we check here, here are all the other Dockers we have currently installed, no matter if they are running or not. This is where the configuration and permanent files are located. So in this folder, we will be creating a new folder. And we will call it the same as a Docker image, so it's Deluge. And let's clear this. And now we can start typing the command. sudo for super user do docker run. As always, we want to start it is in the detached mode, so running as a daemon. We will give it a name. Whoosh. For the network, we will be once again using host network. And now we will use those two IDs we have, so user ID and group ID. This will be environment variable PUID equals 1000. And the other one will be PGID, it will be equal 1000. Next thing what you have to define is an, uh, as a variable will be type zone. And once again, for me, it will be Europe, Zagreb. Now we have to connect internal volumes of the container with the Synology folders. So we will be using volume. And we'll start with volume one, docker, deluge, and it will be connected with the internal folder config. Whatever is inside the, this folder here will be seen as inside configuration folder. And the last volume, what we want to define is where we want to keep our downloads. So it will be volume one, media. And this will be seen inside download 
folder inside our container. We forgot to enable restart and it will be equal always. And last thing what we need to specify here is what image we want to download. So this will be Linux server deluge. And this should be it. If everything is typed correctly and I see spelling error here in the name of the Docker image. If everything is spelled out correctly, we should just press enter and download all the files needed for the image to be installed. And our image is downloaded and installed and up and running. Let's close Putty and let's open up our browser. We have to point our browser to the same IP address as our Synology with the port 8002. And as you can see, everything is up and running. If I'm not mistaken, the default password is Deluge. Okay. Yes. So this is my first time ever seeing this interface. Uh, we will go briefly to options here. One thing that I know that we have to define downloads. This should be location where all, all downloads go to. Let's apply this. Let's check network. Let's leave everything for now as is. Bandwidth, interface, other, daemon, running, queue, proxy, cache, plugins. Okay. Uh, let's check here where we can change password. And let's apply, yay. Okay, so the luge is now up and running. We can of course add torrents, either from file or just copy URL. I myself will not be going into details on how to install and configure, uh, on how to run the luge. I'll post you a link to the web page where you can get more information about that. But what we are interested in currently is to integrate the luge inside the home assistant. Let's go back to home assistant. In order to finish integration, we have to go to configurator. If we are not in a sensors file, we should go to sensor YAML file. So one folder up, configuration, scroll down to sensor. And at the bottom of the file, let's create new sensor. The luge sensor. For definition, we always start with platform, the luge. Then we have to define the IP address. And next information we have to provide is username and password. For this, once again, and it's always a good practice, we will use secrets file. So it will be secret. And we will call it the luge name. And for the password, also secret. The luge pass. And last thing, what we want to do is we want to specify uh, what variables we want to monitor. So it will be monitored. variables and those will be current status download speed and upload speed So 
So we now created integration with the platform and also we created sensor and this sensor will be called the luge and it will pull those variables from our server. Let's save this. Let's just go back to the the luge web interface. Preferences, daemon. So standard port is 58846. We will add it also to our configuration. And we will also select here allow remote connections. Let's press apply. Okay. Let's go back to Home Assistant. And inside our configuration, just beneath the host, we will add port 58846. So this is the fault that we just copied, that we've just seen inside the configuration of the daemon. Let's press save. Next thing what you have to do, I have already done, is create variable called deluge user and deluge pass inside your secrets file. So just go to your configuration folder, secrets file, and here at the end add deluge user and deluge pass with the appropriate username and password. For this setup I'm using deluge as user and deluge as pass and we will work on that in a bit inside our container. Next thing that we can do is we can create a switch. Uh, we do not have switch YAML here, so let's create file. Switch YAML. Okay, and let's open it. Switch for the deluge will allow you to control if it's working or not. Uh, you will be able to run it or play it or stop it or pause it. So let's create a switch. Platform Deluge. We once again have to type in host, so it's host and IP address of our Synology or Deluge server. Next thing, what we have to define is username and password. And as before, we will be once again using secret file. And this is the variable that you have to adjust according to your configuration. For me, it's deluge user and deluge pass. Let's save this. So up until now, we created sensor configuration, we created switch configuration, and you also edited your secrets file to include those uh, username and passwords. The last thing before we can restart our server is go to configuration YAML. And here we have to activate a switches. So this will be switch. And it will be include switch.yaml. Just let me fix the typo. And at this point, configuration inside Home Assistant should be up and running. Let's save this. Let's go to configuration. Let's go to server control. Check configuration. And that's it. Uh, we will not restart. Unfortunately, we still have one step left to do. And this one will require you to connect to the terminal inside your Deluge server. I hope that you have Portainer installed because with Portainer everything is much easier. Let's go to Portainer. In Portainer, you have to go to containers. You have to go to your deluge. We can check log files. That's nothing important. And we have to go to console. Let's type it here root. And let's connect. Unfortunately, uh, the integration prefers working with the deluge in thin client mode. And we are running it as a standalone server or let's call it like standalone server inside Docker. So we will not be able to access it until we also defined additional username and password inside the uh, deluge authorization file or auth file. Let's find it. Let's go to config folder. Let's search it here. Okay, so we have auth file here, A-U-T-H. We have to edit it. 
if we try to open any kind of text editor, unfortunately it will not work. I already did install a nano as a text editor. But in order for you to get it, you have to type first apt get and update. It can take some time. I already updated it just a couple of minutes ago, so it's shorter for me. And next thing you have to do is type apt get install nano. I have already installed it, as I said, but it will take you a couple of seconds or up to one minute to get everything installed. So now we are ready to edit our auth file. Let's clear this. Now let's type nano auth and it will open our authorization file. Inside you will see one user created with the privilege level of 10 and this is the password. But we have to add additional one and for the test purpose I will create username deluge with the password deluge and access rights level 10 meaning administrative privileges. I will press Control S and Control X. What I recommend doing is going to deluge and pressing restart. This will make sure that everything is restarted the way it should be restarted. Make sure that inside your deluge configuration you have allow remote connections turned on because we will be needing this inside the Home Assistant. Let's go back to Portainer. In Portainer, let's press restart. Our server should now restart. Let's check logs. Okay, more or less everything is okay. Let's go to Home Assistant. And in Home Assistant, previously we created sensor and switch for the deluge, and we also created uh, and variables inside our secrets file. Our configuration is valid, so let's just press restart. And our server is back online. Let's now try to add sensor and switch. Let's go to overview, media, configure UI, add, and let's add the loose status, the loose download speed, upload speed, and of course, if we have the loose switch, save it. And let's test it. Let's go back to our Deluge web interface and let's try downloading a file or two. Let's add, I have prepared one file. Add. And it started downloading. Let's go to Home Assistant. And as you can see, we have here status of the deluge and we can see that it is downloading with a speed of, speed of 6613 kilobytes per second and uploading with the following speed. And this is it for today's and this is it for today's episode of Home Assistant running on Synology in Docker. If you have any kind of a comment or a question, please leave it down below in the comment section. If you still haven't subscribed, please subscribe and hit the bell button. I will be seeing you soon. Until then, bye bye and have fun.